Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how we can use sunshine to actually help heal our gut. So many of you know about the benefits of sunshine, making vitamin D in our body, and you might already know that there is a connection. Well, there has been actually two studies that have demonstrated in humans that the sun can actually help to improve our gut health. And there's two ways that that has done. One study was just looking at the vitamin D levels and those people that are in uh, getting the sun exposure actually had higher vitamin D levels, which is no surprise, but that it made a difference in their gut microbiome and the overall health of their gut. Another study looked only at the microbiome and also showed that uh, independent of vitamin D levels that their gut microbiome had some beneficial changes when they were exposed to sunlight, the UVB rays. So there's a lot more to these studies. I will link them down below. But what we know and what we're learning more of is that the uh, the sun, there's really no replacement for it. And typically we're told to put on sunscreen, wear hats, cover your skin, don't go out in the sun from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., which is when you get the most vitamin D from the sun. So if you are a very fair person, you probably will need to go out in the early morning hours or be really careful about getting your sun in the skin because there are risks if you burn. It sounds like to me from the research I've read that the risks are really only associated with burning. And otherwise, the risks around sun exposure come more from a lack of vitamin D and not getting enough of the sun. So obviously we can get you know vitamin D supplements, we can get it in our food, but it seems that nothing is really replacing the sunshine. Two things that happen when we expose ourselves to the sun is we make more vitamin D, which overall helps our gut health, helps strengthen the microbiome, helps to uh, improve the absorption of nutrients and all that. And then the other thing is that it actually improves the diversity of the gut. So I'll link these two human studies below so you can take a look at them for yourself. They're a little bit long to read, but I really wanted to impress upon you the, the fact that the sun is really crucial to our overall health. There's more and more information coming out about mitochondria in our body and how we really operate based on the light. And I've talked in another video about how our uh, melatonin levels are really important for gut health. Well, we actually make a lot of melatonin based on how much light we get. So there's a lot of different connections here and nuances, but I wanted to share with you these two studies that are fairly new in the last few years. And so you can read for yourself about the connections between uh, vitamin D, microbiome, and getting sunshine. So the little caveat here, yes, you will need to uh, go in the sun at the time and for the length of time that your skin will allow. So we don't wanna burn. Burning does increase the risks of getting certain cancers from your skin, but we do need to get the sun on our skin without sunscreen and without clothing, unless you have um, clothing that is able to, you know, the sun can penetrate and there are such things out there. But that is part of the problem. We do see in, in the last, I think maybe 30, 40 years, about the high incidence of autoimmune disease and gut health issues, which I've mentioned in the previous video, how we've seen a huge increase and spike in our, uh, what they call idiopathic or unknown origin of these autoimmune diseases, including inflammatory bowel diseases. So an interesting connection that could be there, and I'm not quoting any kind of study because I haven't seen it, but it may exist, uh, that when people are spending most of their day indoors, um, staring at devices and up late, not getting up for the sunshine, the sunrise, the sunshine throughout the day, uh, essentially just being indoors way too much. And then when they do go outdoors, they're wearing clothing and sunscreen. So we're not getting near the amount of sun that we humans were really designed to get. And we need it for making those hormones, the melatonin, our mitochondria in our body need it, and we need that vitamin D. So if you have darker skin, you will need longer time in the sun to absorb that vitamin D. If you're fair, you won't need that long. And you can even go out earlier in the day or late in the day to go out when the UV is a little bit lower. 
So there's several ways to address it, even if you're a very, very fair person. I know several of them that have trained themselves to get more sun, and it does make a difference, not only in your gut health, but in many other areas of your immune system, your mental health, your sleeping patterns, and many more things. So we could go on and on about overall benefits of sunshine, but in this video, I really just wanted to highlight for you specific benefits about improving your microbiome diversity and increasing the uh, vitamin D levels to help support your gut health with the sunshine. So it's free, it's available to everyone, and um, unless you have some allergy to the sun, you should be able to get out there and soak it up. So if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.